The Space Marines of the Blood Ravens chapter were well entrenched in their castellum in North Vandia when they finally faced an all-out attack. Utterly unwilling to surrender or retreat any further, the Blood Ravens prepared a mighty defense against the coming assault. Among those defending the keep were Space Marines drawn from the chapter's hallowed first company. These were the hardened veterans of many crusades, each man ready and able to face down whole squads of enemy attackers. The Blood Ravens on the ground would be further bolstered by fresh troops arriving from the battle barge Litany of Fury in orbit around the planet. Only two factors made the Blood Ravens at all assailable in their stronghold. Most critically, the fortress was unable to receive reinforcements directly from orbit. Captain Thule thus had to establish a forward base to receive drop pods and landing craft. Although well defended, this base could be taken. Secondly, the Space Marines had established their base near ancient ruins, which the Ravens claimed held relics of great importance to the chapter. Unwilling to desecrate the space by fortifying it, Fuel opened the door to an enemy claiming the area and thus dealing a powerful blow to the normally unbreakable Space Marine morale. The Battle of North Vandia would be one of the bloodiest of the entire war. The enemy is at our doorstep and thinks he can push us off this world. He is already gloating. He can taste his victory. But what he fails to see is that we will make this his last meal. The Chief Librarian has ordered the purge of this world to protect our chapter's secrets. Are we to retreat with our duty unfulfilled? Are we to let a black mark stain the banner of the Blood Ravens? I say that we will not. I say our enemies will regret the day they ever decided to face us in battle. Our battle barge orbits overhead and will rain the Emperor's holy fury upon our opponents. More of our brothers will come to join the fight. But as ever our enemy outnumbers us, each of you must be an army in your own right. Veterans of the First Company, the finest of the entire chapter, stand with us. Let their valor guide your fire into the enemy's heart. Remember that we are Blood Ravens, brothers. We have all sworn to protect fonts of hidden knowledge. Each one of us must fall before handing this word to the enemy. The Emperor is with us. The Unknown Primarch is with us. They have come for our blood, but they will drown in their own. We don't we fear, fear you, heretic. Do I should hope not, not Captain. Approach. Fearless foes are much more satisfied. The only satisfaction we'll give you is a quick death. And now you tire me, Captain. I've heard far too much empty boasting already. Come on, then, if you think our boasts are empty. Patience, Captain. I would get to you in good time. Show me the enemy. Yes. It will be done. Sanity is for the weak. I am not your bootleg! Whatever you desire, we will build it for you. We serve what we are going to serve you. I am a principal here to purge this land. We are here to serve you. It will be done! Chaos is the only true answer. The first one is with us! Strike at the enemy now!
ancient powers of chaos go where they please. Sanity is for the weak. last time. Anything for the great powers. But of course, Master! We'll send the enemy to what hell do you and want? want? You dare it to... It is as though a thousand mouths cry out in pain! I have ascended. We None may challenge you. The blood I was promised! I feel the warp overtaking me. It is a good pain. It is done. Don't wish my time. We must kill. Do you hear what it is done? It is as though a thousand miles cry out. That it may. I am not your bootleg. Why aren't we killed? We hold it now. My might. For the dark gods, we're here for the dark gods. Reinforcements have arrived to battle Blood Ravens. For the Emperor! Our meeting resistance. The ground trembles. Anything with for the great powers. Step. We will build it for you. Enemies! We need enemies. It is as though a thousand miles cry out in pain. Chaos! Consume us! Great powers. Yes, yes, we will work faster. Sanity is for the weak. Do not trifle with me, worm. To one Please. such as you.
for the dark gods. is forfeit. We serve. For the dark gods! My lord! for the great powers.
chapter! Destroy them! <laughs> Whatever you desire. Yes, yes! We will work faster! Meeting resistance! Mailed fist. 
I command me. the darker it powers. It is a good pain. After a thousand battles, one only saves We need enemies. Sanity is for the I weak. command the darker powers. I see with purpose. After a thousand battles, one only saves Abilities are at your disposal. We are under attack. One only saves death. We are under attack.
anything for the great powers. We will build it for you. Yes, yes, of course. What would you have us do? Sanity is for the weak. We shall strike them from the skies. We shall strike them Earth from the skies. It is as though a thousand mouths cry out in pain. We must kill! My abilities are at your disposal. We are taking fire! We are under attack! Must kill! Do you hear the voices too? We must, must kill! kill. You dare to order me? One so hopelessly ignorant of his origin should not be so quick to insult another's parentage. We are not brothers, heretic. <laughs> of course not. My mistake. It will be done! 
Fighting resistance! I am not your bootleg! It was a momentary madness! is for the weak! That we is the way to must hell! Kill! Uh. Sanity is for the weak! Yes. Just take us into the thick of it! We are under attack!
space station. We must keep in touch with the Litany of Fury. Thousand battles. 
One only sees death. Oh, bless us, Great One. I swear to you it will happen. I am a prince of the war, here to purge this oh, land. Oh, we are under attack! Clearly now. Enemies! We need enemies. Anything for the great powers. I am here to lead you. Prepare for battle! Enemies! Take 
taking fire! Do you hear the voices too? We must kill Seeking resistance! I am a prince of the war, here to purge this enemies. We need enemies. Forfeit. We serve. We are taking fire. Enemies. Oh. We need enemies. <laughs> Kill. Kill. Why aren't we killing yet?
It is as though a thousand mouths cry out in pain. This fortress shall not fall! Such inspiring courage. Perhaps we'll mount your corpse on a golden chair Chaos and make an idol is out the of only you true well. answer. You pile heresy upon heresy, traitor. How could the Emperor have ever trusted trash Trust like you? Blood. Wonder is it's dead how we ever could have trusted one such as him. We are taking fire! fire. It is as though a thousand miles cry out in pain. Chaos is our master. It is as though a thousand miles cry out in pain. Chaos we are is the only true answer.
No! We cannot fail. The gene seed must be preserved. Get Captain Fuel to the Thunderhawk. Understood. Join the Brother Apothecary. We will cover your escape. And you? We cannot allow the enemy to claim our relics. This area must be cleansed with orbital fire. The chapter will honor you, brother. There is no one to be had in defeat. But someone must deliver the targeting beacon. Orbital control. Lock onto this beacon and fire. Full power. Bearer's victory over the Blood Raven Space Marines was a terrible blow to the Emperor's faithful. The Ravens fought nearly to the last and blasted the landscape with orbital fire rather than see their relics fall into heretical hands. But their sacrifices ultimately seemed in vain. Indeed, Eliphas the Inheritor saw North Vandia as the site of his most critical victory. Mad preachers took to the streets of Cornus's cities, claiming that by breaking the Blood Ravens, the Word Bearers had obtained the personal sanction of War Master Abaddon for the Dark Crusade. It was never clear why the deaths of Blood Ravens, a chapter whose history does not go back to the Horus Heresy, would be especially pleasing to Abaddon. Nevertheless, the forces of the Word Bearers fought with a new and terrible certainty from that point on. By the end of the Second Cronus War, the foul banner of the Word Bearers flew across the entire planet. The very Earth cracked with the foul energies unleashed there. Warp storms wrapped the sky, and demons spread across the land. Where once a prosperous colony had stood, a foul demon world burned like a canker in the void. Black cathedrals rose in all its cities, and the entire population, either converted to the blasphemous faith of chaos undivided, or became fodder for its blood sacrifices. The loss of a single world and a few hundred million souls would soon pale in comparison to Eliphas' next acts, however. Soon after his final victory on Cronus, the sorcerers called forth legions of demons and other foul beasts, while Chaos fleets appeared from the warp. Cronus became the launching point for a campaign of conquest that would cut through much of Ultima Segmentum as it drove toward Holy Terra itself. The war for Cronus was but the dawn of the Imperium's darkest day.